go to project, synchronize, and when the synchronize window opens, you have various choices. For process monitor, you can use a build command here. You can use a script. If you have a bad script, you can call it up here. And then the working directory will go on the top. You can also call up an IDE or solution like I have here, as that's the solution I need to build. You have other choices of a sync, sync type. You can use a build log, JSON compilation database, or Visual Studio build configuration. So if I call up the IDE using the solution I need to build, I would enter the full path to the solution, click synchronize, and the Visual Studio IDE would open. So when the IDE opens to my solution or project, I would right click and clean the old build. This is because QAC, True Synchronize, would need to monitor a new, fresh, clean build so that it picks up the files that are being compiled and adds it to the project. So first, I need to clean the build. Then I need to run the fresh build that would be monitored by QAC. This wouldn't take a lot of time. It's just a few files being added. Okay. And when that's successful, all I need to do is close the IDE. And I close it. Synchronize in Helix QAC has monitored the build, what files have been compiled, and has added it to the empty project. Click and close. Expand all. And these are my files.